today topic is McCabe Thiele method problem based on determination of the number of theoretical plates using McCabe Thiele method when equilibrium data and reflux ratio is not given now let's see an example a mixture of benzene and toluene containing 40% benzene and 60% toluene is to be separated in a fractionating column to give a product that means distillate containing 96% benzene and a bottom product containing 95% toluene the feed is a mixture of two third vapor and one third liquid find the number of theoretical stages required if reflux ratio of 1.5 times the minimum is used and if relative volatility is 2.5 so in this example we have to calculate the number of theoretical stages required but in this example we have given the weight percent of benzene we don't have mole percent of benzene so from weight percent we have to calculate mole percent then feed condition is not given directly so we have to calculate q then the reflux ratio is given in term of minimum reflux ratio so for that we have to calculate the minimum reflux ratio and equilibrium data is not given directly we have relative volatility hence from relative volatility we have to calculate equilibrium data now let's solve this example so to calculate the number of theoretical stages mccabe thiele method is used in mccabe thiele method there is a stepwise procedure so the first step is by material balance evaluate the term fxf dxd and wxw let's take bases as feed containing 40% benzene and 60% toluene now xf is equal to the mole fraction of benzene in feed but we have given weight percent of benzene so by dividing molecular weight we can calculate mole fraction as we know the molecular weight of benzene is 78 and molecular weight of toluene is 92 hence xf is equal to 40 upon 78 divided by 40 upon 78 plus 60 upon 92 after solving this we get xf is equal to 0.44 similarly xd and xw can be calculated hence xd is equal to the mole fraction of benzene in distillate so xd is equal to 96 upon 78 divided by 96 upon 78 plus 4 upon 92 after solving this we get xd is equal to 0.996 and xw is equal to the mole fraction of benzene in the bottom product So xw is equal to 5 upon 78 divided by 95 upon 78 plus 5 upon 92. After solving this, we get xw is equal to 0.058. Now the second step is draw equilibrium curve and diagonal with the help of x y data. but in this example we don't have given x y data that is equilibrium data but we have given relative volatility so using the relation between y and x in terms of relative volatility we can calculate x y data so in this example we have given relative volatility that is alpha is equal to 2.5 as we know the relation between y and x is y is equal to alpha into x divided by 1 plus alpha minus 1 into x 
Now, we will put alpha is equal to 2.5. So, after solving, we get the equation as y is equal to 2.5 into x divided by 1 plus 1.5 into x. Now, let's assume x is equal to 0. So, we get the corresponding value of y is equal to 0. Now, let's assume x is equal to 0 0.1. So, we get, the corresponding value of y is equal to, 0 0.217. So, similarly, for x is equal to 0 0.2, 0 0.3 up to 1. We can calculate corresponding values of y. These values of x and y showed in table. Using this x-y data, we can draw an equilibrium curve. Now. To draw equilibrium curve, on x-axis, x, that is mole fraction of more volatile component in liquid phase is plotted. And, on y-axis, y, that is mole fraction of more volatile component in vapor phase is plotted. Now let's draw the equilibrium curve and diagonal. Now the third step is, draw an operating line of rectifying section. So as we know, equation of operating line of rectifying section is, y is equal to r divided by r plus 1, into x plus xd divided by r plus 1. Where, r divided by r plus 1 is the slope, and, xd divided by r plus 1 is the intercept. Now, in this example, we have given, Reflex ratio R is equal to 1.5 into Rm, that is, minimum reflex ratio. So to calculate R, we have to calculate Rm. Now let's see what is minimum reflex ratio. So, at a minimum reflex ratio, an infinite number of plates are required for the desired separation. Hence the operating line of rectifying and stripping section, and feed line, intersect the equilibrium curve at the same point. Then we get, coordinates of the point of intersection as, y dash and x dash. From that, we can calculate the minimum reflux ratio, by using the formula as, rm is equal to, xd minus y dash, divide by, y dash minus x dash. Now let's see this graph. In this graph, we can see that operating line of rectifying and stripping section and feed line intersect to equilibrium curve at the same point. At that condition, we get an infinite number of plates. Due to this, the reflex ratio will be minimum. So to calculate Rm, we get coordinates of the point of intersection as y dash and x dash. Hence, to calculate Rm, we have to know the point of intersection. So, for that we have to draw feed line, and one of the operating line of rectifying or stripping section. Hence, now, let's draw first feed line. So, now next step is, draw the feed line. So as we know, equation of the feed line is, y is equal to, minus q divided by 1 minus q, into x plus xf divided by 1 minus q. Where, minus q divided by 1 minus q is the slope, and, xf divided by 1 minus q is the intercept. Now, in this example, we have given, the feed is a mixture of two-third vapor and one-third liquid. So, as we know, Q is the fraction of feed that is liquid. Hence Q is equal to 1 divided by 3, which is equal to 0 0.33. Hence, now let's calculate slope and intercept. So, the slope is equal to minus Q divided by 1 minus Q is equal to minus 0 0.33 divided by 1 minus 0 0.33, which is equal to minus 0 0.5.
and intercept is equal to xf divide by 1 minus q is equal to 0 0.44 divide by 1 minus 0 0.33 which is equal to 0 0.66. So using this slope and intercept, let's draw a feed line. For that, first we plot point xf xf, that is 0 0.44 0 0.44 on diagonal. Now measure intercept which is equal to 0 0.66 on the y axis. Now, let's draw feed line from point xf xf with intercept 0 0.66. Now to find a point of intersection, to calculate Rm, let's draw the operating line of the rectifying section from x d x d, and which is intersecting the equilibrium curve, at the same point where the feed line intersect. For that, first we plot point x d x d, that is 0 0.966 0 0.966 on diagonal. Now, let's draw an operating line of the rectifying section from point x d x d, and which is intersecting the equilibrium curve at the same point where the feed line intersect. In this way we get point of intersection. So the coordinates of this point are y dash is equal to 0 0.51, x dash is equal to 0 0.3. Now we can calculate minimum reflex ratio Rm. So from the graph we get y dash is equal to 0 0.51 x dash is equal to 0 0.3. So, Rm is equal to 0 0.966 minus 0 0.51, divide by 0 0.51 minus 0 0.3. After solving this we get 2.1. So, now we can calculate reflex ratio R from the given relation. R is equal to 1.5 into Rm. Hence, R is equal to 1.5 into 2.1, which is equal to 3.14. Hence, from minimum reflux ratio, we get reflux ratio R is equal to 3.14. So, the slope is equal to 3.14 divided by 3.14 plus 1, which is equal to 0 0.758. And intercept is equal to 0 0.966 divided by 3.14 plus 1, is equal to 0 0.232. Now using slope and intercept, we can draw an operating line of rectifying section. As we already plot point x d x d on diagonal. Now draw an operating line from point x d x d with intercept 0 0.232. Now the next step is draw an operating line of stripping section. As in this graph, we get the intersection point between the feed line and operating line of rectifying section. So, there is no need to find the slope and intercept of the operating line of the stripping section. So, to draw an operating line of stripping section. First, we plot point x w x w, that is 0 0.058 0 0.058 on diagonal. Now, draw an operating line of stripping section from x w x w, such that which is passing through the point of intersection of the feed line and operating line of rectifying section. So in this way, we get an operating line of rectifying section, stripping section, and feed line. 
Now next step is, construct the triangle, from x d x d, between equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying section and stripping section. Till we reach, or cross the point x w x w. So to construct the triangle, in the area between the equilibrium curve and operating line of rectifying and stripping section. We draw a horizontal line from x d x d up to the equilibrium curve. And a vertical line from the equilibrium curve to the operating line of the rectifying section. This will continue, till we reach or cross the point x w x w. Now, count the triangle between x d to x w. As we know, each triangle represents the number of trees. So, in this graph, we get 10 triangle. Hence, the number of trays or ideal plates including the reboiler is n, which is equal to 10. Hence, the number of trays is equal to n minus 1, is equal to 10 minus 1, which is equal to 9. Hence, in this example, we get, number of ideal plates, is equal to 9. So, in this way, we can calculate the number of ideal plates using McCabe Thiele method. If you like my video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share it with your friends.